What's up, y'all? Scarby here with part four of my playthrough of King's Quest VI. This is also day 58 of my 100 Days of Gaming for Extra Life. Links down below in the description box. And we're gonna just keep keep on keeping on. Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants must be baby's tears. Okay. Hello. Aren't you a bunch of fine-looking young plants? Go, go, get ya! Apparently, the baby's tears haven't learned to talk yet. Oh my god. Don't I need milk? Alexander doesn't want to pick the baby's tears. They may not be done growing. Oh, okay. Um... There appears to be a hole in the garden wall. <laughs> what? Through the hole in the wall, Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. What the hell? Wow, it really is a hole in the wall. Zounds! Those wallflowers sure are shy, and the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. No, but I want this. Alexander decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. Check. Oh. Alexander startled the poor thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. And I can't get near the wallflowers. Right. Let's go check this out. Hi! A noble white chess knight stands at the top of the marble stairs. A red chess knight stands at the top of the marble steps. Apparently less noble than the other one, though. Uh, let's chat. Excuse me. What land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard land, you knave. Knave. I see. And is chessboard land part of the land of the Green Isles? It is the home of the Red and White Queens, rulers of the Isle of Wonder, fairest of the islands that owe loyalty to the king of the land of the Green Isles. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? What is the purpose of unity with the great king and queen dead? The princess is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. Whoa. So she just lost her mother then. Hi. I must insist, your highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the wizier and the princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, your highness. I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. <laughs> Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. 
quiet, Your Highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper, and not even mention the <laughs> fact that red is the color of love. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Majesties. I'm partial to both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. <laughs> what a ridiculously stupid idea! Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Obviously a man of high intelligence. <laughs> oh, look at them talking shit about me. Oh, goodness. The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. Are they going to argue the whole way back? That's the yeah. silliest thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. They're fun. Okay. The Red Queen has dropped her scarf on the steps. I'm going to take it. Alexander picks up the Red Queen's scarf. Okay, I heard the noise, so we're going to save. Okay, and then... Did she say that her, the, her stone was taken on the Isle of the Beast? Or just that beast? All right, I'm going to try to do something nice. Hold on. The scarf is made of red silk. Oh, that's helpful. Okay. I found a red scarf. I believe the Red Queen dropped it. The Red Queen is always dropping her scarves. She thinks it's fashionable. Keep it and consider yourself honored. Oh, well, cool. Cool beans. Okay. All right, I want you. I want you in my pocket, hole in the wall. But I don't think it's time for that just yet. Look at the froggies. Okay, we're gonna... What do you want from me? A recitation or something? <laughs> Leave me alone! Yeah! Did they say anything different? Where were you born? A barn? It's a pigsty back here! Yeah! All this stuff you got! What do you want to carry all this trash around for? <laughs> Where were you born? A barn? It's a pigsty back here! Yeah! All this all right. stuff you got! What do you want to carry? I got a lawyer, you know! Yeah! There's kidnapping laws in this here kingdom! Oh, God. Oh, hey, look, the iceberg lettuce is melting. Alexander is carrying what little remains of a head of iceberg lettuce. The lettuce is rapidly melting. Uh-oh. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to probably get another one of those. Why would Alexander want to throw that at the stick in the swamp? Why not? There's no reason to leave that lying about in a log. Oh, I don't want him, though. Okay, wait. I need to go get the... Oh, it's just going to hide always. Okay, I need to get a new one. Alexander replaces his watery lettuce with a freshly picked specimen. Meanwhile, I'm stealing somebody's lettuce because this isn't mine. It gets. No, I know it's cold. I know, I know. We're going to already go ahead and pick that. And we're going to head straight there because I know exactly where this is supposed to go. Go. It's not that hard of a puzzle. Okay. Alexander pulls out. Okay. Out of the beast. Alexander feels a strange. Oh, it's a deer. So many animals. Okay. Let's look at it. There's no point in using an object on itself. Sassy game. Alexander is carrying a full head of a queer-looking lettuce made of ice. 
The lettuce is rapidly melting. Okay. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. The pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. Right. Okay, cool. Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> ooh, 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 ouch! So how do I... The pond is no longer boiling, but it's hardly bath water. Oh, okay. Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. I was a bit worried that it was hanging over. So I would have had to figure out a way to get it, but that was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Saving, and then let's check out this lamp. Alexander doesn't want to alter the forest. What? No. Alexander doesn't... Use it. The path, like destiny, cannot be altered. Oh my god. Fine. 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 We won't rub the lamp. Ugh. As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Right. You notice anything suspicious about that gardener? I do. I don't know how to beat it, though. A stone archer sits atop the lintel of the gate like a silent guardian. His stone bow is tightly drawn and fitted with a single stone arrow. A delicate gazebo made of white painted pine and overgrown with rose vines leads north into what appears from here to be a garden. Uh oh. A brick lies in the grass. It must have come from the old brick wall. Can I get the brick? Yeah. Alexander picks up the brick. Okay, save. <sighs> How do I beat this guy? Because you know he's gonna shoot me. That's obvious. Um. I don't know. Do I do this? The stone archer would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall to try that. What was I gonna try? Um... Brick? Throwing the brick <laughs> at the stone archer might scratch his marble, but it won't stop the archer's vigilant watch over the path. Mm. Um... Come on through, I say. I can show you a path through the forest. Of course you can. The stone archer would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed... Okay. Um... I don't know. I don't think I can do anything yet. The stone archer would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna just walk and show you. this time that was so dramatic I right, restore okay so this heavily forested aisle is dotted with rough granite rocks Alexander has no need to carry around large rocks uh Come on through, I say. I can show you a path through the forest. No. You can shut your your stupid mouth. Wait, does he, like, say anything else? I'm Alexander of Daventry. Who are you? What difference does it make? Mm -hmm. Just come on over here. I'll tell you my life history if you still want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, no, you're that drunk genie, and I don't think so. You aren't going to listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. 
<laughs> That's odd. The gardener just disappeared. How clueless do you have to be? Well, he's gone now, but I, that still doesn't help me get past the gate, so. <sighs> okay, I think I have to go back to the Isle of the Crown. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how long I've been playing, so I might stop. But I have an old lamp Alexander now. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels... Okay. Okay, can I try the lamp now? Because I want to see if it does anything. Alexander rubs the lamp, but nothing happens. It was worth trying. Okay, I can accept that. That's fine. Now, okay, how do I attract... <laughs> do I throw a brick at the bird? I doubt it. So let's go this way again. I don't know how to get the nightingale to come down again. He's still not there. Is that... Oh, is that new? Hmm. Alexander doesn't remember that sign being on the wall before. He decides to take a closer look. It's a proclamation. It reads, Citizens Rejoice, announcing the royal wedding and coronation of Wazir Abdul al Hazred and Princess Kasima. For reasons of security, the wedding will not be open to the public. <laughs> Long live the new king and queen of the land of the Green Isles. Alexander feels his stomach lurch and his brow sweat. Wedding? Coronation? If he didn't do something soon, Cosima would become another man's wife. And that is unthinkable. I just had a thought. Remember how you could trade back in the... <sighs> Hold on. Your candy dish is empty. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Well, get some more, then. I fear that is impossible. Without the fairy, I can no longer get imports from the other island. And we do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. <laughs> oh, I hate not getting what I want. <laughs> Okay, I have a theory. From what I know from princess movies. I'm gonna take a risk here. Hold on. I'd like to trade this magic map back for my family ring, please. As you wish, Prince Alex. I suppose you have had enough adventuring for now, eh? Perhaps. Thank you, merchant. I'm assuming I can trade it back. I'm I'm really hoping I can trade it back. Wait, no, oh no, God. Um. Good day, Prince Alexander. Can I give him the pearl? I found this large pearl on another island. Might it be enough to get back the magic map and keep my ring, too? <laughs> I have never seen such a perfect pearl. Certainly, the pearl alone is worth the price of the map. Thank you. I'm relieved to have a means of travel again. Okay. I'm really glad that I didn't- that I had that option. Um, I don't think I have anything to help the, uh, the slave girl yet, so I'm gonna keep moving. And then I think that's what you're- I think it's a messenger bird, and you're supposed to give it your ring? There's no reason to use that there. Maybe this one? There's no reason to use- Ugh. Really? I could have sworn that you send your ring so that she- What? That won't complete the sentence. Oh! 
If you complete the sentence... There is... I just didn't click in the right Alexander spot. Alexander holds out his royal ring to the nightingale. I see a serpent. To Alexander's surprise, the nightingale swoops down and grabs the ring from his hand. Yeah. Hey, genie. The nightingale flies off towards the castle with Alexander's ring. Where might she be taking it? Oh, I wonder. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like something should get triggered, but I don't know. That's back! The nightingale has returned from her flight with Alexander's ring. She flutters off her branch and drops something red at Alexander's feet. It's a red velvet hair ribbon. The bird must have taken Alexander's ring to someone who sent back this ribbon in return. Could it possibly be? Dare he hope that the someone is Cosima herself? If only it could be so. <sighs> this probably did them all. So... Wait... The lady's hair ribbon is made of the finest red velvet. A long strand of black hair is caught in the ribbon. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't... Oh, I know what I needed. Never mind. I had another thought. Um, Because you have shy wallflowers, and how do you get wallflowers off the wall at a party? What music? So, I need to go get the... Uh, Good day, Prince Alexander. I need to get the flute. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I'll take the flute. The flute? Very good, Prince Alex. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thank you. Okay, and then we are going to head back down to the beach. But I think I'm going to cut this episode here because we've been going for a Alexander uh, uh, We've been going for a while and I'm actually hungry and I'd like to go eat something, so we're gonna cut it here. I don't know what else to give to the bird, but I'll get to that in a minute. But I think I need to go to the Isle of Wonder first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head that way. No, no, wrong thing, sorry. Alexander opens the bargain book <laughs> God. and reads a paragraph at random. Two dulcimers. No, oh, mm. my bad. Phew, what an incredibly boring book. No wonder the bookshop owner wanted to get rid of it so badly. Oh, okay, that was if, in case you didn't know what you were supposed to do with it. I meant to click on the map, I'm sorry. Alexander pulls out his magic map. And then it was the Isle of Wonder. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Okay. So I think I'm going to call it here. So we're going to save and that'll be it. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Comments are always welcome in the comment section below. If you can, please consider donating to Extra Life. It all goes to Children's Miracle Network and the kids really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you like this video and I hope to see you back for my next one. Thanks guys. Bye.